Okay, we are continuing with our Pogo Plug series, working with Pogo Plug Mobile uh, version 4, and we're working with the, the main OS that's on there. In a previous video, we went over some SSH stuff, and uh, there's already an SSH server on there. It's running Drop Bear, and, uh, but it's an, a very, very old version. And as we went over in a previous video, we had to tell my desktop computer, so we're looking at my desktop computer here, um, I had to tell it, I had to force it to use an older uh, form of encryption to connect to this uh, Pogo plug. So we went over this, and this is all, again all in the notes in the link in the description. So if I hit enter on there, I can log in as root because that's the only user on that device. As of now, obviously you can add users, but we're still, we're still working with it here. Not only is this not very secure to have a server running like that, and I definitely wouldn't recommend it if you're opening up the server to the outside world rather than just your local network. It's also, um, you know, a burden to have that in there. So what we need to do is we're going to download and cross-compile Drop Bear for the Pogo Plug. Again, the uh, architecture that we're running here is an ARM uh, 5 architecture. So down here I have an empty folder and I am going to download the source code. So again, all, all this is in the notes in the description, but if you go to the Drop Bear main site and you go to download the code, you can find uh, a tar.bz2 file that you can download. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let me uh, get my notes here. Oh, first off, I'm running a Debian-based system. And to cross-compile, I had to first install this package. Uh, and I don't know if there's any other packages that might be required. I didn't need to install anything else, but I, I've compiled other stuff before. So sudo apt-get install gcc arm linux uh, gnu e a, I don't know how you say that. Anyway, I already have that. It's telling me it's already installed. So we'll clear, clear that out. Next, I am going to download the latest. Again, I got this link from the uh, website we were just looking at. Once that is downloaded, we can then use tar-xjf and the name of our file to extract that. And now we have a folder which we will move into. And so this is the newest version as of recording this video. Uh, it is currently March of 2017. So this is a relatively new, just a few months old uh, version. Uh, next, we're going to run this configuration, and I'm not going to go over this completely, but again, it's in the links and notes. So dot slash configure, we're going to tell it that we're compiling for ARM Linux, uh, and uh, there's a few other things in here. Just copy this from my notes from the link in the description. And it's not a very big uh, program, so it doesn't take very long to compile, so that's configuring it. Next, we'll type make. And I don't think it will take more than 30 seconds or so. But then we'll have a binary file called Drop Bear in this folder, which we can then move over to our Pogo plug. Any day now. Normally I would pause, there we go. I was gonna say, normally I pause the video, but I know it doesn't take very long to compile this. So again, uh, if I list out a, I have Drop Bear, and you can see it's a binary. And if we do the file command, you can see that it says right here that it's compiled for ARM. So let's get that over to our Pogo plug. We're going to copy it over using the current install, uh, the current server on there for SSH, uh, which we're going to be using uh, SCP, just like we did in the previous video. So again, we're doing uh, SCP to secure copy it, secure using uh, the older encryption format, and we're going to give it the file name right here, Drop Bear. Let me shrink this down a little bit so it's easier to read, it's all on one line. Um, I know it's smaller now, but at least it's all on one line. So we're copying it using SSH, we're using the old encryption key because that's the server that's still running on there that we're getting ready to replace. This is the file that I want to copy over, and this is where we're copying to. I'm copying it as root to this directory, and just colons like that is just gonna put it inside the home directory, although you can specify if I want to put it like in the temp folder or something. We're not gonna override the original just yet because we wanna make sure this one works before we go around replacing things. So I'll go ahead and hit enter and I'll type in my super secret password and that is now copied over. And up here, so again, the top part of the screen here, I am logged in currently. 
Uh, and if I list out, you can see I have two files, the test file that we copied over in the previous video and our drop bear file. And if we do this, let's do PS, you can see that we have drop bear already running, the, the one that was originally installed on here. It's listed here twice because uh, I, I believe it creates a new uh, instance every time someone logs in. So you have the main server and then you have me connected here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go kill all drop bear and that's gonna disconnect us. Luckily we still have telnet running. So we've killed that off. Now I'm going to telnet into the same machine as root, type in my super secret password. And again, if I do PS, I should not see any um, drop bear instances running. But I can now dot slash drop bear. So this is the, the binary that is currently in my home directory here. That's what the dot slash means. It means the current directory. I'll hit enter. And if I PS now, you can see drop bear is running right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to... Oops. Go ahead, SSH again, but I'm going to leave out this whole key thing, and it should work now. So I should be able to do SSH as root to that server, so its IP address, and of course the IP address is going to be whatever the IP address of your server is, your Pogo plug. And it didn't tell me that the keys don't match, and I'm going to type in tux. That's the super secret password, by the way, tux. Uh, <laughs> um, and I'm logged in. Okay, so we know it works. So now we want to set it up so that it runs when it starts up. So we're going to replace the original drop bear. So I'm going to go into USR, uh, SBIN, and in here there is a drop bear file. And just to keep that, just in case, I'm just going to move that instead of deleting it. I'm going to move it to uh, drop bear.old so it's there in case I need it. But then I'm going to move from my home directory the copy of uh, uh, drop bear to here. So now, I, once again, I am going to kill all. Uh, I'll show you here real quick. PS, so you can see drop bear is still running, even though you moved the binary because it's up in RAM now. We're going to disconnect ourselves again, kill all. Uh, drop bear. I'll log back in with Telnet one more time. And uh, so at this point, I want to restart up. Now we already have, again, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, if we look inside our startup script, which we went over in previous videos, uh, we have it set to start up automatically on reboot. So at this point, I could reboot the machine or I can just start up. Uh, drop bear that way. I can exit out and I should be able to SSH in and I'm good to go. So I should be able to SSH in and S copy stuff, SCP stuff over using the newest version of drop bear. Uh, so I have the newer encryption. Don't have to force my desktop to use a lower type of encryption. We're all set and that's all we have to do. So what we've learned today is we downloaded the source code, uh, we extracted it, compiled it, cross compiled it for ARM. Uh, and then copied it over and replaced the original. So we're all good to go. Uh, a lot more secure than what we were doing before. So as always, I thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Again, this is part of a series. Uh, there's a link in the description and hopefully at the end of this video to the full playlist. Uh, if you haven't been watching it, you might be a little confused. I should have said that at the beginning of the video. I do thank you again for watching. If you do enjoy my videos, um, be sure to check out both my channels. Links to both in the description and the video. And uh, if you like them, think about supporting them over at patreon.com. Uh, patreon.com forward slash x 1000 Or if you want to, you can uh, go to my website, filmsbychris.com again, uh, and click on support. And there's also a PayPal link there. I thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.